Well, welcome to our next video. We're going to take a quick break from our usual 3D modeling and texturing to talk about Unity, uh, the 3D engine, and the Unity Collaborate tools. This is, I think, going to be very pertinent to what we're usually doing because uh, it's as much fun as it is to make cool stuff in 3D. Um, looking at it in Maya uh, only gets you so far, right? So we want to make 3D stuff that's actually useful, um, that can get into games or animations and things like that. And that's where Unity Collaborate comes in. So here I am. Um, I've got Chrome open right now. I've got uh, I've hit the Unity3D.com uh, homepage, and I'm going to go ahead and log in, and we're going to we're going to start seeing some things. So first thing to do is click that little user icon there and click log in. I'm going to be logging in as a couple of different users uh, to kind of demonstrate some of this. This is defaulted to my my one user, my EDU user here, and this will be the, the owner of the organization that we're about to create. So now I'm logged in, um, except that my initials show up here instead of that you know, blank face. Um, the page didn't change much, but let me go ahead and click on that again, and I'm going to go to my organizations. So as you can see, I'm part of a couple different organizations with a couple different projects already, but we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to make a new one. Um, we're going to have a really cool and creative organization. Uh, we'll just call this YouTube Demo for our YouTube Demo. All right, so now I've got a, an organization. Um, I click on this thing here and go to it. And you can see we've got one owner um, in my members and groups here. I uh, don't have any projects yet associated with this. But what I'm going to do now is go out again to organizations. No, I'm going to go down here to members and groups. I may be able to add from here. Yeah, here we go. So I've got members and groups. I'm going to add a member. And this is another one of my Unity accounts. So I'm just going to add this individual as a user. And right up here, you can see new, mem new member added successfully. And that will happen if the email address that you typed in is, in fact, a registered Unity user. Otherwise, this box will show up and, and say, hey, uh, the person you invited is not a Unity user. Um, go make sure they, they get on board. So now I've got this organization, YouTube Demo. Um, I've got myself, uh, Rich Tanner the first here as the owner, and I've added a second user. So that's all well and good, and we're set up there. I'm going to take a quick break from this. We're going to go to Unity, and we will start to set up a project. So we'll get to this in the cloud thing. This is one of the one of the new things that's really making our life easy in Unity. Um, but for now, we're just going to do a new project. And I don't need analytics. I'm going to name that. I'm going to drop this in my default Unity projects folder. I'm not even going to add an asset package for now, so I'm just going to create this. Wait a few minutes, seconds ideally. Kablamo. Look at this. This is our default empty Unity scene. Let me just blow this up. Not a lot going on here. I'm going to make just a couple of edits here. First, I'm going to go to game object. I'm going to drop in a plane. This will just be a ground. We're just going to make something really quick and stupid. Uh, go ahead and name this. Ground plane. There's some cool terrain things we can do here as well, but we're not going to. I'm going to scale that up. Don't need to scale on the Y. OK, 
because it doesn't have any depth there, but you will need at least a one scale there. So now I've got this giant thing. Um, my assets folder is empty right now, but I've got a white ground. I don't want a white ground. Like so I'm just going to do a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call this materials. Let's do just a quick material. So I'm going to right click again and create material. Inside here. Cool, I can name this. I'm going to name it M for material. Um, just a, a habit I've gotten into uh, for to prepend certain object names. So M for material, we'll just call this grass. Or we'll just call it ground. We'll just call it ground. And I'm going to go over here. In the main map, I'm going to select the color, some sort of greenish thing. We're not going to get really fancy. Great. Now I have a green color. whoop de doo Go to my ground plane, and I can grab this new material and just drag it right onto it, and now my ground is green. And as you can see over here in the inspector, the ground changed. Um, it's got our new material on it, and that's kind of cool, I guess. I'll throw a few more objects in here so that when I log in as my other user, we'll be able to see at least something's going on. Drop a cube. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F. This is the same as in Maya to frame something or focus on something, however you want to say it. I believe frame is the is the actual term used. I'm going to set the at 0.5 so it sits right on the ground. I'll move him over by a couple and over by a couple there. We'll just call this box and we're going to do a lot more a lot more interesting things later. I'm going to go and go back in here to materials. I'm going to create a new material. Just have this be a brown block. And I'm just going to kind of drag around on some sliders until I get something brown-ish. Which really is in the dark orange family. We're going to call that close enough for now. So now I've got brown block. Again, drag that guy out block. And that's all cool, I guess. Um, with that selected, I'm going to hit Command D and make another one. I'm going to keep doing that and just dragging them out. Use my Command button or Control button. There we go. It's the Shift button to select a few. Command D. Again, now we've cloned three at once. Drag those over. We set that at 1.5. All right. Oh my goodness, we've got a 3D game. There's really nothing going on here. But I've got some brown blocks stacked on a green grass, and that's kind of fun. Um, select my camera, and I can see that uh, it does indeed show me these. So if I were to start up the game right now, it would look like that. In fact, we will do that. Ooh, nothing going on here, but it's the start of something. So now let's get to what we actually care about. So I've got my collab button here up top. If I've got Unity, I believe 5.5 or better, um, that should be a, a default thing. So I'm just going to click Start Now. And I believe I'm logged into the correct. Get some Unity issues here. So maybe some CSS just isn't playing right. Okay, 
here we go. So I've got Unity Project ID. There's my YouTube demo, so that's my organization. I'll select that. And I will create this under that organization, and then whatever members are in that organization should get invited to it. Or will be able to get invited to it. I'll show you that step. So I'm going to create this. I apologize that the CSS is just nasty looking right now. So I've got demo project. It's in such an ugly state, I can't tell what's going on. Let me try this again. Okay, looks like we're hooked up now. So you can see all the changes we've made here. Right, we've got all of our default stuff, our folders. Uh, we've got our material folder that we created. Uh, just some regular boilerplate Unity things going on. And the materials we created. So I could publish this straight away, but that will do my other project team members no good. So we always want to leave a comment. So here we go. like to describe what it is you did um, and you can as well leave some nice messages like good luck for the rest of your team so I'm gonna go ahead and publish that now I do need to save the scene oh that's very key all right let me do this so save the scene as you demo and the scene will just by default for now go into the assets folder um, if we get this to be a very large game project we may want a whole scenes folder for now we'll put that there and we've got a new change to add to this so that's good I'm gonna go ahead and publish that everything's up to date okay back here on unity.com or unity 3d.com um, I'm back here in my organization's area of the web page, and I've got all of my stuff open. So I'm going to go back to the organization for YouTube demo, uh, just to check on that. Uh, I've still got one, one owner and one user. What I really want to do is, from the sidebar here, go to Projects. So that other email address of mine should have gotten an, an invite uh, to join this organization, um, but we haven't invited them to the project yet. So I'm going to go to my demo project. And click over here at users, and I can add people or groups to this project. So this is really where it's at. So I can add all org users, uh, which includes my entire class, And it looks like it's suggesting that one. Actually, no, that, that doesn't include the entire class because there's multiple organizations. Anyway, from that, I was able to select the one. I should probably name those at least a little bit differently so I know, but I'm pretty sure that's the Gmail account. So I'm going to add that guy. And we wait. Boom, there it is. So now I've got this, this other user, this other me, uh, added as a user. can remove that individual at will and that's good if someone's in there trashing your stuff or there's a parting of ways on a project uh, so you want to be the you want to be the definitely the owner in that case so anyway so I've added that individual to this project and when I pause this and come back as that individual I should be able to start downloading and doing some cool stuff again I'm ready to log in as my second user I'm just going to open up unity pay no attention to that treasure chest um, I had logged out of this, um, so this is going to ask me to log in. Of course, the trick is always remembering each and every one of your passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. 
Uh, on the disk, I've got some other things I've been working on. I did have to go ahead and delete the, the local copy of the YouTube thing that we were working on so that we can see this. So I've got in the cloud, you can see I've got this number two here saying that there's a couple of different things that I can download. Um, there it is, the YouTube demo project. So I'll just go ahead and click that little cloud icon and it defaults into Unity Projects. That's where we want it. It should create its own folder for that. So I'm just going to say yes, open that, and we wait. It's importing assets. There was not a lot there, if you'll recall, just moments ago. There was just a plane and some boxes. So we've loaded up. There's what that's supposed to look like. We're still updating. And the awkward silence is over, and we've got our stuff. So we've got our materials folder. There's the things that, that the other user, if you'll recall, did. And there's the demo. Um, it loads a default blank scene here, but here's our other scene. Let's we'll double click that and check it out. We've got this stuff. There it is. That, so there's the collab thing. I'm going to make a few just minor changes before we really get into the into the cool stuff of importing our assets. I've got this main camera, and let's just move some things around and clone some things and see what happens. So I'm going to just set this guy back at zero. Our blocks are kind of off center. Let me see if I can grab all those blocks at once. So I'm going to grab one, hold down shift, grab these. See if it'll let me rotate it as a giant group. Oh, look at that, it will. What fun. And hard code that, 90. And now our camera view looks a little cooler. Looks like we're, we're zooming in on those blocks. I'll create just something interesting, and you can create up here from game object, right? Create a 3D object of any of, any of these kind. Um, I could from out in here create a 3D object, just kind of wherever, right? You can get to you can get to the menus from a lot of places. I'm going to create a sphere. And because I had box 8 selected, now there's a sphere inside. That's not what I want. So I'm going to drag that guy out. Doesn't need to be parented to anything. So let's move him over. Looks like we might have a bowling game going here pretty soon. Real quick, I'm going to go back into materials. Create something new, and we're just going to call it red. Have a little more fun. Trying to be quick, but trying to have fun. It's a it's a balancing act. Get a little darker than your standard red. That's fun. Let me just drag that onto the ball. Now, either from the material here or from the ball itself, I can make changes to that material. So let's make it metallic. Really up the shine on that. You can play with the smoothness. And as we zoom in here, that looks just almost impressive, doesn't it? Just try to double click and move this into a good spot. There's where zero's at. Interesting. So we'll drag them back over, drag them back. 
And let me select my camera. This again is the camera preview of what it's looking at. We'll do some more cool stuff in a bit. We've added a ball, we've added a metallic texture. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Definitely wanna save. You can do that from save scene, save scene as, or just the command or control S, always a classic. And red shirt. Added a red ball. And is very proud of his work. So we'll publish that. And it's done. And it's very much more impressive if you can see two screens at once or two users at once because basically as soon as that, uh, that little checkbox showed up on my screen, the other user, if they were logged into Unity, would suddenly get uh, a little down arrow saying, hey, there's some updates for you to download, and you would just go over there and accept it. So let's just see what that looks like. Not in real time, but as close as we can. Okay, finally, we're back in. I'm logged in as my original user. Um, I'm back to where I was as that user, uh, and that's the EDU account. And I can see up here in my collab box, I've got this little orange thing with a down arrow saying, hey man, there's some, there's some new stuff for you to download. Um, so there I can see that uh, number two, um, the number two update to this is this other guy added a red ball and adjusted some positions. So if I just click on update now, that should download. It should only take a few minutes, but I am hearing a lot of thunder outside right now, so I don't know if that's gonna mess with my Wi-Fi. Um, and then this will happen. Do not be alarmed. Open scenes have been modified externally. So uh, do you want to reload the scene? Absolutely, yes. Let's see what they did. And there it is. So there's the red ball. As you can see, we updated. We got another another material down here. Um, those blocks have been shifted, and our main camera is looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. You can see from the camera view, ooh, it's amazing. And that's Unity Collab in a nutshell. Um, that's kind of the the do's and the don'ts and the and how to get it set up and and how to push and to pull um, from this this cool cloud repository for source control. I'm going to leave you off here, and we'll be back shortly with some more tutorials on creating Unity asset packages and getting those all set for your team. See you then.